So first I'm going to demonstrate the proper way to collect blood from a cat from the saphenous vein. Um, the most important part of this restraint is the scruff. Um, obviously you don't want to get bit and you don't want your other technician to get bit. So it's important to make sure you have a good scruff on the cat with your thumb pointing towards the front of its face, so more rostral. And then you want to lay the cat in lateral recumbency. And then you always want to make sure that the cat's back is aligned with your arm so that the cat doesn't have access to um, the other person who's actually drawing the blood. And then you want to make sure that you tuck the tail and the, the leg that's more towards you by the belly and then that way the person who's drawing the blood can pull his other leg out and have access to the saphenous. Um, so an improper way to collect blood from that area would be to just kind of hold them by the neck and do it this way. Obviously when you do it this way you're constricting their airway and they have full range of motion with their head so it'd be really easy for him to kind of pull his head up and bite me or the person who's drawing the blood. Um, so again you always want to make sure that you have a good scrub. Um, the second demonstration is going to be for um, a jugular blood draw. If you want to come this way.